Hello and welcome back to the Venture Brothers Best Episode Ever March Madness Bracket. This is week three, in which we will be discussing rounds two and three of the March Madness Bracket. Uh, so, uh, we're going to run things slightly differently this time around. Uh, it's going to go quicker. Uh, pff, let's jump in. Alright, so the very first matchup we had was the Lepidopterus versus Tag Sale Uret. Uh, I predicted that the Lepidopterus would win because last time I did this, uh, Lepidopterus beat Orb, and I was surprised by that. Once again, uh, I should not... Lepidopterus screwed me all up. Tag Sale Uret actually won. And I'm not... Really surprised by that, but I was trying to use insider knowledge to make my prediction. So yeah, Tag Sale you're at one with 65% of the vote. The next matchup we had was Everybody Comes to Hanks versus Now Museum, Now You Don't. Everybody Comes to Hanks, predictably won with 83% of the vote. Now, we're going to jump forward in time to see the result of Tag Sale you're it versus Everybody Comes to Hanks. Uh... And that went to Everybody Comes to Hanks with 50% of the vote. 57% of the vote. All right, brand new competitors. Fallen Arches versus Sphinx Rising. Fallen Arches won with 63% of the vote. Uh, I'm not surprised by that. I'm actually most surprised that both of these got as far as they did. Fallen Arches, as predicted, won with 63% of the vote. All right, next up we have... Escape to the House of Mummies Part 2 versus Trial of the Monarch. Now, I predicted Escape to the House of Mummies Part 2 would win. It did not. Uh, Trial of the Monarch won, but it was a very close uh, fight. Trial of the Monarch only won with 54% of the vote. But I really thought Escape to the House of Mummies Part 2 would just, like, knock it out of the park. I am very surprised by how well Trial of the Monarch is doing. Um, I think... I think at this point in time, it is the only season one episode remaining. And I like the episode, don't get me wrong, but I just didn't think it would... I didn't think it would beat Escape to the House of Mummies Part 2. That is a classic episode. Anyway, uh, Fallen Arches versus Trial of the Monarch. Trial of the Monarch won. Once again, I maybe should have saved how surprised I was about how well Trial of the Monarch was doing till this moment here, but oh well. Uh, Trial of the Monarch beat Fallen Arches with 56% of the vote. Next up, we have the Buddy System versus Victor Echo November. Predictably, Victor Echo November won with 65% of the vote. Next, Tears of a Sea Cow versus Operation Prom. Predictably, Operation Prom won with 81% of the vote. And predictably, when Operation Prom went up against Victor Echo November, Operation Prom once again won, but with only 53% of the vote. And I'm kind of surprised by that again. Um... I really just expected Operation Prom to just completely clean up anything in its path. But 53%, that was a close vote. Next up, the Rourke Wall Affair versus the Terminus Mandate. The Terminus Mandate took it with 74% of the vote, and that surprised me. I assumed the Rourke Wall Affair would win. I would probably always assume that the Morphic Trilogy would win, but that clearly was uh, not the right assumption to make. Next up, Invisible Hand of Fate versus Blood of the Father, Heart of Steel. Invisible Hand of Fate won. That's one of my favorites. 68% uh, of the vote for the Invisible Hand of Fate. Now, uh, Terminus Mandate versus the Invisible Hand of Fate. I thought Invisible Hand of Fate would take it, but Terminus Mandate took it with 53% of the vote. The same uh, discrepancy as with Operation Prom and Victor Echo November. I was surprised by that. Um, and here's my theory. Here's my theory. I think people were voting for the picture, not the episode. This, objectively, this picture that I used to represent the Terminus Mandate is a cool picture. Red Death is a cool character. I think the, the thumbnail alone carried this thing as far as it, as it got. Uh, I like Terminus Mandate a lot, but like, I don't know. I, I'm. If people love this episode this much, people love this episode more than the Invisible Hand of Fate. I don't know. Maybe I'm just wrong. Maybe I'm misreading stuff. Uh, but yeah. Uh, oh, also I should mention, with the uh, elimination of the Invisible Hand of Fate, season three 
my favorite season of the show, has been eliminated from the competition. R.I.P. Season 3. All right. Uh, the Doctor is Sin versus Showdown at Cremation Creek Part 2. This is going to be, uh, this is going to be controversial. This is round as a whole is going to be controversial. Uh, and you're going to hear me say the expression or the phrase showdown at cremation Creek a lot. Uh, showdown at cremation Creek part two, one with 60% of the vote. Next up showdown at cremation Creek part one versus self-medication showdown at cremation Creek part one, one with 66% of the vote. And then this is the controversial bit. Showdown at Cremation Creek Part 2 versus Showdown at Cremation Creek Part 1. 86% of the vote, Showdown at Cremation Creek Part 2 took it. Now, I had a lot of people in the comments saying, why didn't you just count those as one episode? This is stupid. Why are we pitting these against each other? Uh, here's, my, here's my philosophy on it. First of all, if you put them together, where do you stop? How do you, how do you stop? When, when do you stop combining episodes. Should I also include the family that slays together parts one and two together? How about uh, Orb? Orb kind of leads straight into those two episodes. Should that be, should that all be one episode? How about the Morphic Trilogy? Should that all be counted as one episode? Um, also, I don't even know how many fans uh, know the expression, the Morphic Trilogy. So if I put up a, a thing and said, the Morphic Trilogy or this, would people, excuse me, would people even know what I'm talking about. I don't know. So, also, and a second point, um, when I watched Showdown at Cremation Creek Part 1 for the first time, I then had to wait seven days to watch Showdown at Cremation Creek Part 2. So, in my mind, they exist as two separate episodes. All right, Arrears in Science versus Love Bites. Arrears took it with 82% of the vote. The Better Man versus Any Which Way But Zeus. I was wrong about this one. Any which way, but Zeus took it with 60% of the vote. Uh, man, people love that mournful tits uh, conversation. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I like Better Man better. Uh, Any which way, but Zeus has never been a very uh, uh, critical episode to me. Uh, but none to worry, because in the very next round, Arrears in Science versus Any Which Way But Zeus, Arrears took it out with 72% of the vote. Shadowman 9 versus Powerless in the Face of Death. Powerless in the Face of Death took it with 56% of the vote. Pretty close. Uh, season 2 premiere versus Season 3 premiere. Uh, Safrax Protocol versus Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Magic. Safrax Protocol took it with 63% of the vote. And Powerless in the Face of Death versus the Safrax Protocol. Powerless in the Face of Death took it with 62% of the vote. And finally, we have All This in Gargantua 2 versus What Goes Down Must Come Up. Gargantua 2 took it with 89% of the vote. Then OSI Love You versus 20 Years to Midnight. 20 Years to Midnight took it with 59% of the vote. And finally, All This in Gargantua 2 versus 20 Years to Midnight. All This in Gargantua 2 took it with 64% of the vote. Uh, so we are down to the Elite 8. And that is Everybody Comes to Hanks, Trial of the Monarch, Operation Prom, The, the Terminus Mandate, Showdown at Cremation Creek Part 2, Arrears in Science, Powerless in the Face of Death, and All This in Gargantua 2. That is one Season 1 episode, two Season 2 episodes, zero Season 3 episodes, two Season 4 episodes, one Season 5 episode, which I count Gargantua 2 as a season five episode, even though I think Jackson and Doc are on record as saying they think of it as their season six premiere. To me, it feels like a finale. So I group it in with season five as a finale. I know. Uh, season six, zero episodes left. And season seven, two episodes left. So next week, we will uh, find out who won the whole thing. Uh, my money is still on Operation Prom. We shall see. Uh, until then, we'll see you next week.